Okay guys, here's another unboxing video from my trip to Dayton. The stuff that I bought. This is a big item that I'm very happy. I've been, if you look at, at my past video about rebuilding my shack, you will see that I was hoping to get an automatic antenna tuner to go here and to replace that manual one. This MFJ 962D, I bought it used a few years ago. And I use it since then, it's worked very well. It can tune a door handle on 80 meters. Okay, <laughs> this is a very good unit. And it is scratch a little on top, but other than that, it's uh, pretty uh, neat, pretty clean. And I've been using it for years. But when I started do doing remote operation, uh, I cannot tune it. And if it's not selected on the right antenna, you know, uh, I can tune it. And uh, sometimes it is set up on the tuner. So if my dipole antenna for 40, 80 meters is on the tuner and I'm tuned for 80 meter, even if my antenna are resonate, you know, all the time, I always use the tuner to fine tune and protect the, the radio. But I don't know if that a good habit or not. There is a lot of dilemma. People will say yes. People will say you don't need it. And that's the thing. But I like to have the choice, okay, just to decide. But if I'm stuck there and I was tuned on 80, I cannot use 40 meter. And if I use the internal tuner of the radio, then I lose some efficiency. It doesn't make sense. So now what I can do is I've automatically tuned. So this is awesome. And also, less stuff to tune in the shack so it has memories and everything so just less complicated making it more easier to change band and change mode because sometimes there's a dx on 20 meter you look at the dx cluster and you're on 40 and then you need to tune this because depending where you go on the band maybe you need to adjust your antenna so automatic tuner go there bing bang and then you do your qso so this is the box it's pretty expensive unit but like i said in my other video this, if you want a tuner for full legal limit in the US, it's 1500 watts, then you have only like two choice. Or you buy a very, very, very expensive amp that has a tuner integrated. Or you buy another tuner from another brand that is more than double of that price. So this unit is the more affordable to do this. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do a very good job. So we'll do a full review of this unit. Okay, we'll go through. And if you have the same issue as me, and we're considering to having an automatic tuner for full legal limit, and you consider the MFG998, well, then you'll have the conclusion of my review. Okay, so let's open that up. Hold on a second, it stayed this. I didn't open, guys. I waited two days before opening the box to be able to share with you this unbox moment and I'm sure that you enjoy it like I do. You know, there is a channel that is specialized in unboxing any kind of stuff, which is called, it's a Canadian guy as well, it's called Unbox Therapy. He got millions and millions of viewers and subscribers doing this. So I'm still considered that unboxing stuff is something of interest for you. And I'm just checking my camera. Oh, okay. And I'm still, some people don't do unboxing. I do unboxing. I want to share with you that moment because me, I enjoy it. I want to see what's in the box before I buy something. By the way, while I'm at it, you need the cable to control your, 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 your automatic tuner from your radio. You don't have to. But if you want to be synchronized automatically, you will need to. So this is the cable that goes for my TS-990. So you need to ask, this is sold separately because they won't put all the cable in the box, of course. That's understandable, but you will need to get the cable. So, and this will power up this one, well, at least with the Kenwood, will power up the MFG-998. So don't forget to ask your dealer for the correct cable, or you can make one yourself if you can, but uh, maybe it's better to buy the correct one. Make Not make any mistake. Let's open that big box. I like big box. 
Okay. Okay. So first thing you're gonna see, hold on, I'm gonna put that my camera up there so it can catch inside of the box. There is there is a cable that is stick with a tape. This little cable, okay. I'm gonna put some power pole on it as well, and this is power pole. And this cable it's probably to power well the meter and probably the light as well inside of it. I don't know if I need to connect it if I use the Kenwood plug. So I will try the Kenwood plug first to see if I need to plug any other power, but I don't think so. But or you can plug it direct. But I will put some par Anderson power pole as well on it. This one anyway. Okay. By the way, if you go on MFJ Enterprise uh, website, you will have. Hold on a second. What's this? The I'll give you the website. Anyway, look in the link below. You can download their catalog and see all the products over there. They, they have tons and tons of products. Was you know, it's a, a, a fun boot to walk around when you go at Dayton and MFJ doing a lot of fine stuff. I had a lot of product MFJ in my 25 years on, of arming. I, I don't remember having any issue with one of them. I know that some people say that maybe uh, uh, it was not uh, good quality, but that's not my perception. It is affordable. And uh, I never had any bad experience with them, and they do a lot of stuff. And there you go. So this is the MFJ. This is a big unit, okay. And like everything that is precision equipment, doing. Hold on. Oh, oh. Okay. Here's the catalog. Everything that is precision equipment. Hold on. I don't know how to grab it. Don't drop it, okay? Everything that has cross needle. So this, hold on, <laughs> I'm not on the right side. Okay, so this is the big tuner, okay? I'm gonna put it a correct distance. Has a LCD display, okay? 1500 watts, automatic antenna tuner. And there is <laughs> the port in the back. I will unbag this. Hold on, I got rid of the box. Oh, okay, there is. They say to download your manual. Oh, there you can have all the manual from MFJ over there, okay? MFJEnterprise.com slash manual. Enterprise with a S. Because they have bought a lot of other AM companies in the past few years. This is important, and maybe, I don't know. But maybe some of those companies were in difficulties financially and MFJ just saved them. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. But they do converge with all the accessory that you can get. And if they save so those companies, that is very good for us hams. I still have some. I'm just telling that like this. I don't know. Okay. So maybe you can write it down. Oh. This is a big piece of equipment. Okay, look at this. This is the back connectors. So, antenna one, antenna two, wire, the ground, the transmitter, amp enable out, amp enable in. Okay, so probably if you have an automatic amp, you have the power connector, you have the radio interface and the serial port. So we'll check that out later, what the serial port can do on that, okay? So that's his, you can see my fingerprint in the back. And that's his, the nice tuner. This is big. It's quite heavy, but not that heavy. It's not like a, an amplifier or something like that. So I'll put that aside. So we'll do a complete review of that antenna tutor later on, on another video. Hope you enjoy. See you very soon. I'm doing another unboxing after this one. That's gonna be online very shortly as well. Seventy trees.